the decision really doesn't changes doesn't change anything for the people who are seeking refugee protection in the Canada border today or tomorrow, like they will continue to be turned away. The Supreme Court of Canada ruled Friday that a pact with the United States to control the flow of asylum seekers across the shared border is constitutional. In the unanimous decision, the High Court said the safe third country agreement, which recognizes Canada and the U.S. as safe places for potential refugees to seek protection, which came into effect in 2004, does not violate Section 7 of the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, which is the right to life, liberty, and security of a person. We ruled that there are mechanisms available for people to be exempted from the return uh, to the U.S. if they are at risk of those rights violations. But although I, I'm going to say that these mechanisms do exist in law, in practice, they're not operational. Under the agreement, migrants must seek asylum in the first of the two countries they land in, making it illegal to cross the border and seek asylum in the other country. In 2022, 39,000 people claimed asylum after crossing an unofficial border point into Quebec, the most popular being Roxham Road between Quebec and New York. It puts lives at risk. There, you know, we know of cases of, of a young woman, an Afghan woman, who's right now in hiding and, and extremely scared. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and U.S. President Joe Biden agreed to expand the treaty in March so that it would apply along all 8,900 kilometers of the shared border, not just at official crossings. Before then, a loophole allowed asylum seekers who arrived between official points of entry along the land border to make claims in Canada, despite having arrived in the U.S. first. We promote regular migration pathways and orderly management of the border and part of the path forward is going to include not just welcoming a significant numbers of vulnerable people but helping build capacity in parts of the world that struggle to keep up with the extraordinary demands that irregular migration is placing upon them the case was sent back to federal court for review on whether the policy is a violation of section 15 of the charter guaranteeing equality rights a women they're being detained in the U.S. Their rights are being infringed. So we might have another uh, opportunity to strike down this, uh, this agreement. And for the Canadian society in general to continue to uphold the rights of refugees to seek protection. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.